Kathy Wilson. Today I will be talking about the long-acting reversible contraceptive device called Nexplanon. As you may be aware, there is a hormone birth control implant that's called Implanon that is currently on the market. Um, this is placed under the skin for women who prefer a long-acting progestion. The Nexplanon is the next generation of Implanon devices. It does not need daily, weekly, or monthly attention, but rather lasts for up to three years. It is composed of a soft and flexible rod that is inserted in a discrete location in the inner upper arm as the minor surgical procedure performed in the office. The area is completely numb prior to the procedure and insertion of the device is small in size. It's about four centimeters in length, very thin, so it is very well tolerated. And um, as I said before, it's very discreet, so you, only you and your healthcare provider know that it is there. The implant is well tolerated. However, some side effects may occur, such as a change in your normal menstrual bleeding pattern initially. Some people also experience longer bleeding times while others have shorter bleeding or no bleeding at all. During the first six months, bleeding may be sporadic with spotting, and that's usually the um, most common side effect. So how does it work? Nexplanon prevents pregnancy by stopping ovulation or the release of the egg from the ovary. It also thickens the cervical mucus, creating a barrier through which sperm must attempt to pass. It also changes the lining of your uterus. The chances of pregnancy occurring while on Nexplanon are very low, about 1 in 100 women. Who should not get Nexplanon? If you have a history of a blood clotting disorder or have an extensive smoking history, you should not be on Nexplanon. If you want to be on this device, quitting smoking prior to placement will be required. Also, ovarian cysts may develop in your ovaries, but usually they resolve spontaneously and do not require treatment. Some common side effects with Nexplanon are irregular bleeding, headaches, and vaginitis. These are usually transient and resolve over time. It is also important to know that Nexplanon is only used for prevention of pregnancy and does not protect against sexually transmitted diseases. Persistent condom use is the only way to decrease your risk for sexually transmitted diseases. The procedure is quick, relatively painless, and affords three years of protection against pregnancy. It is FDA approved and provides excellent long-term birth control with a 99% effective rate. For more information about Nexplanon, but also other contraceptive methods, please feel free to schedule an appointment with one of our doctors at Complete Women Care. We will be happy to help you make the right decision.